Hello and welcome. I am going to use up a few colours in between all these flies. I will be doing Kung Fu chops. If you see me doing this, I've not turned into a mad woman. It's these flies today. They I've left. No, I didn't leave the doors. Somebody left the doors out, which would be my husband. And I've got flies everywhere in this art room and they're driving me crackers. So if I do a few Kung Fu moves, just ignore me. I'm using up some paint that I have. Um, this is gonna be, I'm gonna do a navy and white backdrop. So I'm gonna use my sponge brush to brush out where I wanna put my navy. This is a 50 by 55 canvas and all of my paints are currently made up with my um, Kiss Pouring Medium. If you haven't tried it, please do so. There's a link in the drop down box. So all I've mixed my global paints with are my Kiss Pouring Medium. So um, maybe everybody's saying, how do you make the fluid arts that are new to fluid art? Well, there you go. And another thing is to go directly to my um, beginner's tutorials. Rightio, first colour on, looks a bit wibbly wobbly. Rightio, let's turn my camera off, bit of noise, hobby turned up home, dog's going off, oh my goodness, you know. You know when it all gets a bit noisy. So I'm just gonna make sure there's enough paint on here to blow it around this does seem a little thick and i'm probably going to regret leaving it thick like that but give it a go see how now this is my white which is i find if i um blow the paint around to set my canvas up ready to do it just wastes so much paint so I either find it a lot easier using those sponge brushes and quicker and you don't waste as much paint if you're trying to blow it to here they're all over your canvas all oh, these flies oh my goodness they're not usually this bad at all because we're right up the top of a hill or a mountain and it seems that they, they don't come up here so much but so I don't know if there's going to be a storm and they've come up to um well they just knew it was going to be a jilly video so a good time to annoy i think rightio i think that's okay that's probably um it's like a little bit thick paint and a little bit thin isn't it it's like that is definitely the navy or that cool blue is way too thick but sometimes i do like to do these chaos blows or dutch pours with the thicker paint it's a little bit more controllable. Now, I have these colours left over, which is called... Oh my goodness. Um, oh, well, this one is just orange. <laughs> uh, no big secret there. That's just orange. So I've been working with these orange tones in um, quite a few videos now. So, it's the orange. And then this is just the cool yellow, nice bright yellow. So it's this is you know definitely going to give it a pop, isn't it? On those, on that kind of base, so it should be very nice and cheery. I'm gonna definitely add some of my cool red. Oh, this comes coming out a lot slower. Come on, might just do some blobs of it and then I will use some of this oh, it's called wicker it's like um orangey yellow I guess so it should look quite fiery I guess these colors should look very fiery right here yeah. now going back to the old faith Got a bit hazel then. 
Oh, I like that red in there. Try and do it slow. Because <laughs> it can certainly run away with you very quickly if you don't kind of try and slow it down a bit. Uh, I don't want that there. I want that over there. Wow. Oh wow, that's lovely. That is lovely. Very nice. Let's um, jillify it. I just want to pick out some. I know some of the painters use their finger. That the paint is a little bit. I might let that dry off a little bit. Come back to like do some definition if I go and use my fat finger in there I will let's see stuff it up I'm sure Woo! no I don't like it chubby chubby digits I've got chubby digits hmm. I really want to um, define that a lot make it Oh, look at these colours of these cells coming up in that blue. I get that so much more when the paint's thicker. So I might try my trusty balloon to soften the whole thing up. And it helps take paint off your canvas. And you can absolutely have another canvas there waiting to kiss the other canvas with the paint that you're taking off you know this one I haven't been organized um, so I'm not doing that at present and this one this little balloon is actually started to leak so this is when it because it's filled with water so this is when it does need to go in the bin because it, it just ends up um, yeah, it's definitely it just ends up ruining you know putting too much water onto your artwork so I've got this deflated one I'll try this do it in the long way so it creates a different look but I just feel that doing this through whether it's a Dutch pour or a swipe it softens it up for me and it certainly wouldn't be a jilly art piece if it um, I forgot my balloons but Obviously you don't have to use them, you do take whatever you choose from somebody that's instructing you in art and make it your own. Okay, wow, I love those colours together. Really want to leave that lacing in there because that is so beautiful. get some of that see that's way too much paint in there and it will if you leave too much paint it's got a opportunity to as it's drying crack but sometimes I don't know this, this pouring medium seems pretty good at just absorbing and drying quite nicely so I've used my kiss pouring medium in here with my global paint so oh really like that Adding that bit of blue in there is actually very nice. I might just add, even if it's only that wispy bits in there like that. See, that's very heavy laden with paint, silly jilly. But I'm gonna let this dry off now and then I'm gonna come back and just um, maybe uh, use my skewer through it to see if I can just do some kind of defining in there so it doesn't leave it so chunky. See the paint's falling in at present but after it's dried off a little bit it certainly shouldn't be doing that. That's absolutely gorgeous. I'm loving it. Love, love, love. Oh my goodness. I didn't end up using my skewer but I did come back in and kind of I tried to blow some of the heavy blue off and of course it blew my other colours and I've still got some of that lovely lacing there um, and, and it's turned the paint green there with the mixture of the yellows and red 
obviously and I did do a few more balloon kissing and spread the love it has turned out nice and soft now um, there is some chunky blue bits I should have definitely done my blue um, not as thick but I've usually still had great success in it drying good so fingers crossed that this one dries well thank you so much my lovelies for joining me please do so again tomorrow take care bye for now